Coming to you live from the north, more specifically Spring Green, Wisconsin. One of the most common questions I get is, what is your favorite roadside attraction? And I always have the same answer, and that is where I currently am, the house on the rock. Now, a brief history it was created by Alex Jordan Jr. The legend is he was a huge architect, he was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright, who is from these areas, famous in Wisconsin, and he went to Frank Lloyd Wright. He wanted to work under Frank Lloyd Wright, and when he did, and Frank Lloyd Wright looked at his resume, he said, I would not hire you to design a chicken coop. And Alex Jordan crushed he had been destroyed by his own personal hero and he made the decision that he was going to show Frank Lloyd Wright who he really was so in 1959 he finished building a crazy unique and bizarre house on top of a rock spire here in Spring Green Wisconsin and over the years it grew into much much more they built added buildings and buildings and the amount of things they have in there is breathtaking and unbelievable. I don't want to try to start describing it now. I think it's best to just show you. It seems like a really strange museum, and that's because... No. <laughs> um, it, it appears to be a museum because it is housing antiques. It's housing all kinds of memorabilia and things from a different era. It's more of a place to just enjoy. So, what is House on the Rock? The House on the Rock, to me, is a magical complex. It's an all-around sensory explosion. His collections of antiques and junk, new items and old, real and quite obviously fake, have no central theme or apparent reason for being there. And maybe that's part of its charm. There are some pretty incredible things, including a huge, unrideable carousel. 269 different animals, not one of them is a horse. Really? Yes, the horses adorn the walls. Of course they do.